This video will guide you through how to block someone or someone's contact on Hinge. To block someone on Hinge, simply open up your Hinge application and make sure that you are logged into your account. Tap the Hinge icon after you are logged in, located at the bottom left. This will then show you the profile of the people you can like or dislike. Find the profile of the person that you want to block and tap the three dots at the top right of their profile. There, in the pop-up, you'll be able to see Remove and Report option. Tap the Remove menu and then select one of the region for removing the person from the list of options. You can select any one region from the list and that way you should be able to block or remove contact on Hinge. Once you do that, the person will be blocked from the Hinge account and you will not be able to see their profile again. If you are looking for a way to block someone on Hinge after matching, then open up your conversation tab at the bottom right and you'll be able to see your conversation threads. Find the message thread of the person you want to block and tap on it. Now, tap the three dots at the top right hand corner of the chat screen and then tap on the report button from the menu that appears. Select a region for reporting and blocking the person from the list and after you select one of the options, you'll be able to block them from your Hinge account and their message thread will also be deleted. That is how you can block someone or a contact on Hinge. How to edit Hinge profile To edit your profile on Hinge, you'll need to first open up your Hinge application from your app drawer and make sure that you are logged in. Now. Tap on your profile picture at the bottom right hand corner to open up your profile. You'll be able to see an option which says edit profile on this page. Simply tap on it and you can now make the changes you want to for your profile information. Now from this page you can make any changes you want to your profile information such as your photos. Tap on the picture and drag it to your desired position to change the order of the picture and so on. If you want to delete a picture from your profile, all you need to do is to click on the cross icon right above your picture and to replace a picture with something else, tap on replace a photo and use your camera or other social networking sites to upload a picture for yourself. You can also go ahead and tap on the upload button and select a picture from your device's library in order to change your picture. Similarly, you can also go ahead and edit some of the written prompts, video prompts and poll prompts and so on. You can also change your name, gender and other information for your profile. Once you are done with your changes, you can tap on the back button at the top left and that is how you'll be able to edit your hinge profile. Pretty easy, isn't it? How to verify hinge profile. First, launch open hinge application and make sure that you're logged into your account. From the main homepage of hinge, tap on your profile icon or the profile picture at the bottom right hand corner. From your profile page, tap on edit profile. If you've not verified your profile yet, you'll be able to see this get verified option under your pictures and videos. Tap on it in order to verify your profile. Follow through the prompts as it asks you throughout the process. To get your profile verified, you'll need to take a quick video selfie. You must keep your verification honest and make sure to upload a clear profile photo without anyone else to make the verification easier. After you're sure you can continue the verification process, tap on continue, tap continue one more time and tap on verify me. Follow through the video selfie process and you'll be able to verify your Hinge profile. That is how you can easily verify your Hinge profile so that you can let people know it is really you on the platform. How to change your name on Hinge If you are looking for a way to change your name on Hinge, then it is quite easy. Simply go ahead and open up your Hinge dating application on your mobile device and then log into your account. Once you're inside the main homepage after logging in, tap on your profile picture located at the bottom right hand corner. Now tap on edit profile. From the edit tab, scroll all the way down and then under my vitals, tap on name. Here, go ahead and make any edits you'd like for the name. You can change your name and set it to something else and then go back. Soon after that, 
you'll be able to change your name on Hinge. Pretty simple, isn't it? As you can see, my name now has been changed at the upper left of the profile page. How to match on Hinge. If you want to find a match on Hinge, then first launch open your Hinge application and make sure that you're logged into your profile. Once you're in the main home page, you'll be able to see a bunch of profiles of the people you can go ahead and like or dislike. You can scroll through the profile and then see their photos and prompts that they've answered to showcase their personality. If you're interested in someone's profile, tap on the like button right at the bottom right of their picture. Now you can leave a comment for them into the comment text box and tap on send like. So now after you send like or comment to the person, it is also known as a great way to start a conversation and show genuine interest. Now when you like or comment on someone's profile, they will receive a notification that you are interested in them. If they also like your profile or respond to your comment, then you'll be able to match on Hinge. Once you have a match, you can start a conversation by sending them a message through the app's chat option at the bottom right, and then you'll be able to get to know each other from Hinge. That is how you can easily match with someone on Hinge. How to like someone on Hinge. Start off by tapping open your Hinge mobile application and make sure that you're logged into your account. When you open up Hinge, application and log into your account, you'll be shown a profile of a certain someone through your screen. You can scroll through their pictures and prompts and choose whether you like them or reject them. If you want to like someone's profile or like someone, simply tap on the little heart icon at the bottom right of their picture. Now you can also add a comment and then tap on send like. Once you do that, Hinge will let the other person know that you've expressed interest in them. If both of you feel the same way, Hinge will make a match so you can communicate with one another and proceed with your online dating relationship. That is how you can like someone on Hinge. How to log out of Hinge dating application. First, make sure that you open up your Hinge dating application and get to the main homepage. If you want to log out of your Hinge account, go and tap on your profile picture appearing at the bottom right hand corner. From the list, click on settings, scroll all the way down from the settings tab and tap on the log out button and you'll be able to log out of Hinge right away. To log in back again, from the main homepage, tap on the sign in button and enter your credentials. That is how you can easily log out of Hinge mobile dating application. How to delete your Hinge account. If you are done using the Hinge platform and you'd like to get rid of your profile and other information or in a nutshell, delete your Hinge account, then open up your Hinge application. Also make sure that you're logged into your account. After you are, tap on your profile picture at the bottom right hand corner. From the page, tap on settings. Scroll all the way down and you'll be able to see a button that says delete or pause account. Tap on it and then answer some of the questions. Select why you are leaving the Hinge platform. You can select any other option displayed on the screen. Here you have two options. Instead of deleting your account, you also have an option to pause your account. If you want to pause your account, then you can keep your account being hidden and you can still chat with your current matches. But if you want to delete the service altogether, then you can tap on the delete account button. Confirm deletion by tapping this confirm delete button and also make sure, also remember that deleting your account will permanently erase conversations with your connection as well. After you are sure you want to delete, tap on confirm delete button and wait for a few seconds. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to delete your Hinge dating account right away with a few simple steps. If you found the video to be helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Press the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. I'll be back with another quick tutorial video again. Goodbye till then.